Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kenan Command. I'm Dan, Jack's asleep, Ace is asleep, and today's video is two dogs. Pros and cons. So recently I adopted Jax last week and now I've got two dogs, Jax the Walsh Border Collie and Ace the English Spring Spaniel and they've been getting on great. So today's video I just want to do pros and cons about getting two dogs. Okay, let's start with the pros. Having two dogs, your dogs will play with each other. They'll burn so much excess energy, it'll be great. When we go out for a walk, we go out for like an hour, two hours, we come back, they still have energy to burn. Then they play with each other, and the excess energy bank, it depletes, and they'll sleep for hours and hours. They're going to be less lonely. With one dog, of course, they've only got human company, but bringing another dog, it's going to be, it's going to be cute, you know? And they'll always have each other, forever and ever. I think bringing another dog, it will help your first dog with social skills. Your dog might be a bit anxious with other dogs outside of the house, off lead and in parks, but bringing in a second dog, it can really help develop their social skills. And both dogs will grow up again, adapting to the other dog, and they'll become more, I guess, yeah, adapting to the outside world, and it'll just become a lot easier. There will never be a dog moment in your house when you have two dogs. I've lost count of how many times they've been playing on a tug, and Jax has been spinning ace around in the garden on the other side of the tug and they've been going on, on and on for ages and then Jax will pull ace along the garden and it's just pure happiness. It's definitely more natural to be in a pack. If you look at wild lions in a pride and wild wolves in a pack, that everyone does better as a social group. You have your social hierarchy, your social dominance and I think even in domesticated animals having them in a pack, it brings up the innate behaviours, their um, genetic behaviour built into their genes, which help them survive in the wild. But because they're domesticated, they've lost quite a bit of that, so bringing in the wild aspect of being in a pack really helps them become closer to each other, and they'll become more of a dog. You're gonna get more face licks. If you don't like it, if you love it, pff, I like it, except when they've been in cat people, then it stinks. But you get double the amount. When you leave the house and you have one dog, you have security. But when you have two dogs, you double the security. So I'm pretty sure no one will come to your house and your dog's barking at the window. Let alone two dogs barking at your window. It's pretty intimidating. If you rescue a dog, being your second dog, you're gonna feel heaps better than buying from a breeder. I got Ace from a kennels in Taunton in England, and he was just a pup. And then I got Jax from like a foster home from where I work. To the rescue. Now time for the cons. Uh, there's more chance of destruction obviously. If you've got two dogs they're gonna be playing more. Things are gonna be a bit spilt. The other day a cup of tea went over, all over the carpet. Things will get broken. Not gonna lie. Things do get broken when there's two dogs in the house just because they're playing all the time which is more of a more of a pro. But there's also a con to come along with it. Double the poop. Double the money. Double the food. Double the vet bills. Double the responsibility, double the insurance, and twice the responsibility. Of course, if you get one dog, that's responsibility. But if you get a second dog, more responsibility. Oh, hello, hello, Jax. Do you want to be in the video? Go right on. Can I carry on? Okay, you're just, you're just gonna lie down. Where was I? Oh yeah, another con, if um, you get a second dog and your first dog is quite anxious about the dogs, you may want to try and arrange a meet before the second dog comes into the first dog's house, because the first dog will see their house as a territory, and getting another dog into the house, so maybe invading their personal space, and the first dog will react quite bad to the second dog, and there will be no hope in the future of both dogs bonding. So if you meet, take your first dog and your second dog to meet on neutral grounds, no one will other territory, no one will try and dominate the other dog. It'll be nice and peaceful and then you can decide whether you want your second dog in the house or not with you, just depending on how your first dog has reacted. Last but not least, double the fur, of course. You get a second dog, you're gonna get double the fur everywhere, unless you get one of those genetically modified, non-molten dogs, but... What's the fun in that? 
Alright guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like, comment, subscribe for more content, and I've got a, a big list of what videos I'm going to be doing this month, or next month, to it's the end of July. I was going to make some liver cake this weekend for Fry Ball next weekend, and I'll definitely document how I make that. Alright guys, thanks for listening. Bye!